Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here today. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. We are going to be going over your photos and critiquing them. You can email your photos to pics at greengridiron.com or just tag us on your favorite social media at Green Gridiron. We have many, many pictures, so we're doing more and more each week. Keep the photos coming. Try your hardest. Here is Kyle M. All right, out of the gate, Steve. Solid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice we, look. We've got a, a black helmet, blackout package on this. You can tell because you got the black bumpers on the top, uh, black chin strap, and a, an SF2E GTX face mask, and an Oakley visor. Yep. Just the slightest little hint of red. So yep. I'm going to give Kyle here a 6.5 out of the gate. All right. Next up is Larry V with a couple of really cool, looks like homemade collectibles. I think so. So we got matte black. Uh, we have, I can't tell what kind of visor it is, probably a generic visor in a, in a dark tint. The bumper though, uh, Riddell has, uses red on their front bumpers that are white. So this one has been painted. So I'm going to go way out of, on a limb here and I'm going to say the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. What do you wow. think? Wow. I can't argue with that. I don't know, man. I really don't know. No, no. <laughs> You tell us who is this helmet right here. Yeah, please. And then Larry, you can let us know yeah. who, who it really is. Help us out. I have out. no idea. Uh, combined total score for these guys, Steve, I'm going to go with a 7.2. All right. Yeah. yeah. I think you can tell that there's a decent amount of work done with these to get them to where they are. Oh, yeah. Had to go out and source all those decals uh, and put them on there, paint the helmets and whatnot. But I, you, I, I think it's a pretty nice job. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Next up is, what do you think this is? Tevin? Tevin. All right. Nice looking F7. Yeah, I, is, this, is this Dutch, would you call it? Uh, it sure is. I think this is just clean. I've said it a million times. I love the all white looks. I love the, the solid colors, but this has just a splash of color too. We got orange uh, Nike chin strap cup sock. Uh, we got the orange mouthpiece, which, and I guess that there's, there's a little bit of orange in the dog's collar too, A little right? bit, yep. And he's got that uh, nice flag in the middle. And I like, you know, that little turn being the twist, white. The twist uh, yeah. clip. Yeah, that changes things being white. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen too many white ones like that. I've, you know, I haven't. And then just the blue and the shock visor. Just, it's those, cool, man. Those shock 1.0 visors, I think they fit these shut F7 and actually really any of the shut helmets like they were made for it. It does. Yeah, it's, it a, does. it's, a, it's a really nice fit. Uh, Steve, I want to go with a 7.8 for this guy. Something about this guy I'm, I'm really liking. It. Even though it's a relatively basic, Yeah. all of those things you know go really nice together. I knew that'd be your speed. Javier. Next up is Javier, and he sent in two collages of pretty insane collectibles. Yeah. we got a lot going on here. I see a signature. Oh, he did this old kind of old school, if yeah. you can, if, if you can consider Instagram old school, but a nice little collage. Yeah, man. Great 3D bumper. He's got an NFL 3D bumper. We got an American flag 3D bumper, obviously the Los Angeles and the Chargers and the 3D bumpers. I think the blue on these Chargers helmets is one of the best colors going. Custom uh, decals on the Under Armour visor clips. And this is an Under Armour visor with a custom decal on it showing i'm assuming this is Mar marcus Mariota. i'm going to go with a 9.1 yeah yeah absolutely these are, these are nice and it, good photos and thanks for putting them in a collage that actually helps it I really think. does actually. yeah yeah that's nice i think it looks cool all right thanks man next up is vince all right vince i guess yeah. this is a collage too he wrote in and goes does anybody remember the xfl like uh, really do you remember because it's almost forgotten and he made this well, very nice job making this then. Yeah. Kudos to you. I like the face mask choice. This is an S2BDLW, not the V. So this is kind of a, a, a retro or old school look. What can you say? It's yeah. red and white. Two colors, and that is it. I guess the red, white, and blue is missing on the back, but eh, you fine. Know, what are you going to do? It's fine. It's simple. It's clean. I, you know, and it's because it was a for something that, yeah, we basically all have recently forgotten about. That's right. I'm going to go with an 8.0. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. that. Thanks, Vince. Next up is Joe Elder. All right, Joe. I, okay. This almost could have 
worked with yeah. the last right? one too. Just... Right. Blackout package, you got a red visor. You know, these visors, um, they're a solid color like this. You know, they're red when you look in and red when you look out. They're cool to look at. I yeah. can't imagine looking through. It's pretty simple design. It's pr very clean. Doesn't look like it's been used or beat up yet. I'm sure those days are coming. Oh, I'm yeah. going to go with a 6.5. All right. 6.5. You heard yeah. it here. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Next up is Mike G. And he said he Ooh. liked what we did to ours so much that he went and did his own. I love what I'm seeing here. Really great use of using the Nike orange to match it up with the chin strap and obviously the orange in the design. Uh, I love the little decals that he's made here for the Under Armour clips. I love that too, because it's the new and the old kind of look. I yeah. mean, talk about that. The only thing that I can't stop looking at are those face mask clips on incorrectly. Oh, I see what, I didn't notice that because what I noticed was the speed 3d bumpers on a speed flag yeah with the holes you in it see, so you can see the holes you got a little bit of cleaning up to do maybe yeah. we can help you with that man um but yeah, Mi yeah michael shoot us an email um every once in a while i mean we make these 3d bumpers for or supply them to a lot of the teams sometimes we have some left over if we do we'll see if we can't you know work out a deal for you um to get them on here because i think that that's something that's going to take this Mm -hmm. to where it should be, as yeah. well as adjusting those upper face mask clips. I'm going to go with an, I'm even with all of those judgmental things that we said, Steve, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with an 8.3. Yeah, well-deserved. I think they're cool. I love, I love the old retro designs on new helmets. I agree. All right, next up is Scott. <laughs> all right, Scott. So, well, Scott's got a problem. Yep. We can see that. These all look fairly old and they also look to be a very interesting collection of teams right i mean you've got some nfl teams in here sure i see some giants uh kansas city jets but then you've got a whole you've got some teams that I, i'm not sure what they are do you see how he has them like organized by even the stripe and the designs and there's a lot of organization here he's got those packers next to the georgia bulldogs next to whatever like mm -hmm. and they're all in that same region this is like and a lot of very 60. old i mean you're talking 40 oh yeah 50, 60 year old yep uh helmets i wonder how many of these are original to the period versus um you know more modern replicas of I, that period you know i spoken like a true giants fan but the one that stands out to me the absolute most is the middle on but, the middle the right that, side that, that 1970s oh man that screams 1986 to me when the, you know the, mm -hmm. with the big giants across the side and you just oh so so great man you're talking about this guy right here that one yeah with the with the center bar kind of you, you know <laughs> back when the guys were wearing the huge shoulder pads <laughs> exactly what a collection at 60 something helmets right there I, I mean i don't even know what kind of number to assign to that so let's just go with a nine. Oh, I was going to say, it's got to yeah, be a nine. I don't know. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I'm sure it is if you look, yeah. the closer you look. Well, take some close-ups of those. Next up is Shannon M. My goodness. It almost looks like this is done in the computer, right? Yeah. But another Dolphins build. This has got hydrographics with decals on top. And here's the thing. Look at this. Look at this Dolphins decal. It's the, in the sun. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah. So I don't think the dolphins do that. No, I mean, but what a great use of clear. So the dolphin itself is clear, so you can see the hydrograph under it. It's Another one with the strap locks yeah. turned. These Another, visor clips are sweet. Another Kool-Aid visor, but this time yeah. in an orange. Wow. Yeah, and the, you know, so in order to do something like this, the helmet gets painted first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume this started off as a white helmet and the white face, could have been any color face mask, but it was, the helmet was and face mask had both been painted white. And then the orange kind of fade, we'll call it, has been applied towards the bottom and the corner of the face mask. And then the hydrographic gets put on and then clear coat on top of that. <laughs> and then the decals and all the pieces and all the guts. This one's really speaking to me for, for some reason. I'm going to go with a 9.3. 
All right, all right, nice work. Next up is Leighton. <laughs> so he took a picture oh. of his helmet. Oh no! Next to his goat named Tom Brady because you know he's the goat. Oh Jesus! And I have goats too. I have three of them. So I actually sent this and showed this to my wife, and we both laughed. And now she wants pictures of uh, the goats with helmets. I I have no goats. <laughs> I love that. I love that he has one nice and up close, and the goat is just like, "What are you doing, dude?" Yeah. You know? <laughs> but again, with the color scheme, red and black, like we yeah. got so and many. And another Kool Aid visor. How sick would that look with a bright red chin strap instead? Yeah. So yeah. anyway, I'm gonna, I'm going to go with a six point three. All right. Yeah. And a and a five. Yeah, a four for Tom Brady the goat. <laughs> Wow. All right, next up is Randall. He's speaking to you, man. All right, well, this is beautiful. I wonder when this was taken because I see a Christmas tree in the background, but I don't think there is a better team to represent a chrome helmet than the Detroit City Lions. I 100% agree. He's got it sitting on one of our helmet hangers, and I think I see a Lions Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, I do. That's even even better. A lion's something. It's blue. I, I really think that I, that's it the might, whole... It, it might just be Honolulu <laughs> blue at that. Incredible. This is a sweet-looking helmet. The bumpers are perfect. The, the chrome Under Armour clips. Uh, good Steve, stuff. everything about this is perfect. Um, could we do better? Uh, could put a hard cup chin strap in there? Yeah, yes, true. I, I'd probably go with a sports star because I know they wear a lot of a sports star stuff. There's really only, I, I got to go with a 10.0 on this one. <laughs> right. Is that, is that good? Yeah, yeah. Is that good? If you didn't know, Jay's a Lions fan. And next up and last already is Our Brandon friend. B. Now check out this setup. I can't imagine what he's got going on here. He's got like a screen in the background that he changed hmm. depending on the team. That's a ridiculously or, cool little touch. Or, I mean, it almost looks like it's like a wood frame like a, here. Maybe. I know. But that looks like a screen for sure. Look at mm. So we've got some custom, uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of things going on here. So I'm going to say this is a custom painted helmet. The browns actually have a matte, it's like a flat or a matte orange mm -hmm. helmet. This is, a, it, it's at least a satin or a, gl a gloss, right? But then he's also painted the, uh, the clips look to be brown, the face mask clips. Yep. With, and I'm going to assume that that shot black is also brown. The valve cap screws are brown uh, i like that we he's using a white or a, a pair of white under armor visor clips and then put the orange same decal on it with like the secondary or even a tertiary logo Ooh, nice um i like i like the decal on the side of this helmet too i think the browns should incorporate the dog I, lo I love both of these. Um, let's go with a 9.2 yeah. for these guys. Yeah, I, I agree, man. This was a good show, and we were able to sneak in a couple more on this one. Next time, we'll do even more. This is episode 72. So thank you so much for continuing to send in your pictures. We want to see more. Yes, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.